Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Learned Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding find valid emails. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the box below. Okay, so question reads: We are given a table called users with two different columns, user ID and email. User ID is the unique key for this table. Each row contains a user's unique ID and email address. Write a solution to find all the valid email addresses. A valid email address meets the following criteria. It contains exactly one at the rate symbol. It ends with dot com. The part before the at the rate symbol contains only alpha numeric characters and underscores. And then the part after the at the rate symbol and before dot com contains a domain name that contains only letters. Return the result table ordered by user ID in ascending order. Let's go through this example. Here we have five different user IDs with their email, and let's look at which all are valid. If we look at this one, right, Alice at the rate example dot com. So yes, ends with dot com. Before at the rate is alpha numeric or underscores. After it's only alphabets. So it does. Similarly, if we look at for user ID two, so obviously there is no at the rate, right? So this is discarded. This one is also discarded because it ends in .net. This one is valid as well, and the fifth one does not have a .com, so only one and four are valid, and that is what we have in our output. So to solve this question, we need to use regular expressions. So basically, we need to write a expression which is trying to match this criteria. So what are the criteria? Let's look at this again. So from this table called users, right? So let me just go ahead and start writing it. From this table called users, we need to keep only those rows where a certain conditions are satisfied. So, in this case, the syntax is we need to use the regular expression. In normal cases, what you will do is where your email column is like certain thing. But here, since we are using a regular expression, so what we are going to do is where regular expression. So reg xp underscore like. Which column we are trying to match? So email, and then we need to provide the pattern that we are trying to match in this particular column. So firstly, it says there should be at the rate symbol, right? So one at the rate symbol, okay? Then it says it ends as dot com. So remember, in regular expressions, dot question mark, these kinds of characters are having special meaning. But if you want to use them as a literal meaning, that means dot means a dot. You need to skip them. So basically, what do you mean by skipping? Is instead of using dot as a placeholder, you literally want to say that yes, dot means dot. The way to do that is you need a backward slash and dot. So and then com and then it says it should be ending with dot com, right? So the way to ensure that it ends with this is. You need to place a dollar sign. Okay, then it says the part before the at the rate symbol contains only alpha numeric characters and underscores. So before at the rate, you need to define a range. That means alpha numeric characters. So it could be small a to small z, capital A to capital Z. So these are alphabets. Then it can also contain numbers. So numeric. So zero to nine. And then underscores as well. Underscores are not a special characters, right? You can directly write is underscore. And then it could be one or more of these. Once or more is plus, right? So it makes sure that before at the rate you have alpha numeric or underscore once or more than once. That is what it tries to match. And then in the second part, that is after at the rate and before dot com, it only contains Letters. So what we can do is let us provide a range, and it should only contain letters. So A to Z, and then capital A to Z. No numbers, no underscores. Okay. Once this is satisfied, what we need to return is we need to return both the columns. So let us return both the columns, and it should be ordered by the user ID column, right? If we go ahead and look at this question, it says return the result table ordered by user ID in ascending order. Okay, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so it says wrong answer. Why does it say wrong answer? 
because here we need to make sure that at least one or more of it is present. We write plus. Okay. Now if I go ahead and run this, it is going to be accepted. So if I look at our output, our output is exactly the same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases. So this is accepted and this is how to do it. So not a difficult question. However, you need to know about regular expression and what these, you know, ranges and how can you define ranges, how to make sure that cert certain strings end in a particular pattern, certain things starts with a particular pattern, etc. So that is what we used for regular expression like to make that comparison on the email column and then we return by the user ID sorted. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better, more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.